And hello fellow Tekker Space Bandit here with another episode of World of Tanks and today I present you the other side of Erlenberg. I figured since I showed you the northwest spawn in the earlier video I thought I'll show you the southeast spawn and how I play from this side of the map. Now the playstyle on this side is a little bit well it's slightly different for me because usually you will see the opposing team pushing hard through the north onto our side of the map which happens more often than not to be honest and our team usually doesn't like pushing south up the J and K lines so first what I like doing here is actually going on top of those ridge lines to see if I can spot who's coming across to our side of the map and then maybe put some early shots of damage those two buildings on top of this hill here are absolutely fantastic for cover either cover from TDs or the tanks coming into our side of the map or the artillery at the same time now I'm using the tree beside this building here for a little bit of camo here as you notice there so that I'm undetected yet I'm able to put shots up north and because no one is spotting me from the middle I have freedom to pretty much operate in this area undetected and as I mentioned to you in my last video the team spawning on this side doesn't like to push at all it likes to sit on this ridge line on the 9-0 ridge lines and that's exactly what I'm doing now if I wouldn't have any shots here in this location I would probably go more central go more into the F6 E6 area somewhere over there so maybe we could get some spots potentially but since I have shots here I'm gonna stick around here and I'm gonna try to put as many shells into these guys that are exposing as many shells as possible so we're gonna focus this E100 now because we're all here in this area of the map there's obviously a risk for our team since the opposing team can easily penetrate through the middle of the map like I did in my latest video that's exactly what I did me and a leopard and object 705 penetrated using F and E lines and we were able to come under that ridge line and then it was just a matter of time before we dispatch of the opposition but none of the opposition tanks are actually making that play right now so it gives me pretty much flexibility to just stay here and put shells into these guys there is a medium tank there you notice there for a split second Indian Panzer that was good thinking unfortunately he was outspotted and taken out if you go through the middle you have to be smart about it don't stay exposed because you can get shot from every area of the map what I mean is from north and south along that nine line so need to make sure you find a proper spot that isolates you from everybody on top of the ridge line and then just poke out every once in a while to spot them unfortunate for him he didn't choose the right position and he got taken out if he actually managed to get under that ridge line where we are it could have been game over for us to be honest but like I said this ridge line over here is fantastic to protect you from artillery especially those houses here artillery is gonna have a hard time hitting you here and there's a little bit of foliage here so you can stay undetected and Centurion Action X is just fantastic gun so we're gonna keep putting shells into these guys unfortunately we have heat loaded and we probably hit something on the way in a brick or maybe a structure or something and heat unfortunately doesn't go through the obstructions and pretty much explodes on impact so make sure if you have obstructions on the way when you're shooting make sure you have APCR rounds or AP rounds loaded because heat or HE is not going to go through them so as you notice here I loaded my APCR right now and that's what I'm going to use okay we're gonna be patient here the game is still close looks like the opposing team is still pushing but they're pushing from wrong directions like I mentioned to you guys earlier there should be someone in the middle but no one is there so we're just gonna take pot shots here we're gonna shoot whoever overexposes that's pretty much it now notice how I'm staying behind this house so that the medium tank in D9 does not spot me because that is critical so that I can punish the snipers and don't worry about the spotter because if I was to try to get him out of the game I will overexpose and most likely die because of all those big guns in the back but now that I shut down the grill there's only a V over there I'm gonna make this risky play and you know if you have good players on the opposing side most often than not this is not going to work but I wanted to see if there's anyone in the middle that I will spot at the same time 
And if I took one hit of damage, that's not a problem here, as long as I don't get set on fire. And I got a little bit lucky here because I got tracked and not damaged. I used my repair kit and I was able to run away. But that move was on purpose. I wanted to see if there's anyone behind these guys shooting at us in this location from the middle. So that's why I made that move. And we were also able to put one shot into that medium tank on the way back into our original position. Now we're going to focus this FV 4005. We really need to take him out of the game. We're going to try to track him here, and we do. But for whatever reason, no one else is shooting at him. So we're going to drop off here behind the ridgeline again, just in case Artie shoots at us. And now the QL decides to go and just get rid of that medium tank. And that's good for us because he should be able to handle him easily. And what we're going to do is we're going to cover him and focus that shit barn over there so that he doesn't get too overzealous and start shooting our QL. Anyway, so we cleaned up this side of the map. It's good now, so we're gonna change our focus to the other side, and we're just gonna scoot on top of this ridge line to see if we can spot anyone in the middle. At the same time, we're just kind of gauging the situation and seeing if we have any shots to these guys over there. We're gonna turn around here, lose our sixth sense because someone is focusing us. Looks like it's probably already, I'm thinking, but we're gonna come up under this ridge line and now we should have shots into these guys pushing up the k-line k-line push is uh, pure death guys for a reason this map is called kampenberg because if you try to push using k and j lines or using a and b lines you're usually gonna die so the best approach to this map is through the middle believe it or not but then if you try to play through the middle you have to make sure you know where to position yourself to limit all the shooting angles because middle is quite dangerous if you're exposed and you spot it then someone will find a shooting lane and your game will be short-lived and that's the last thing you want so yeah make sure you first explore the positions in the middle positions that you can use that protect you at all times and then use them to your advantage now i find that i rarely have to go through the middle on this map when i play on this side of the map Simply because the opposition's always pushing to our side of the map. Almost every one of my games. Pretty much. And usually the push comes at the end of the game when there is cleanup time. Which will happen in this situation. Although I slightly miscalculated in this game. And unfortunately I didn't push to the middle. Which I should have. And I went up north. Through the north. I don't know why I did that. I think I was thinking that the shed barn would be sitting somewhere on the north side of the map but wasn't the case anyway before we get there we have shots here they're very narrow shots but at this time i don't have to really do anything else over here i don't have to push yet i want to make sure that our team cleans up this area of the map and these guys still have health so i'm still able to put shells into them but sooner or later i think they're gonna get obliterated and once that happens then we're gonna move up so this KPZ still has some health. I really wanted to get another shell into him. Like I'm sitting at 6k damage. It would have been a nice game if I could put a few more shells into these guys. And I think here is where I make a mistake. I probably should have went through the middle. But for whatever reason I was expecting the enemy team to fall back into area C2. And I was thinking okay if I come this way and they get spotted early by our medium tank and heavy that are going through the middle then I should have shots at them from this side of the map. But it didn't turn out to be the case. But anyway, that's how I play Erlenberg from this spawn. It's slightly bit different than from the other spawn. The other spawn I find is a little bit more active. And it's not that the other spawn is better or worse. It's just the way the teams play on this map on NA server. I don't know about European server, it might be different, but on North American server, this is usually the case. So I adopted my playstyle pretty much to this meta, the way the teams distribute on North American server. Regardless, we're going to try to find a shot into this artillery. Unfortunately, very narrow shot over there and the shot does not come off. I actually, I think I switched one of the skills in my commander. I took out one of the accuracy skills and I put in silent driving on this tank. So that's why I noticed that the gun is still very accurate, but it doesn't give me this laser-like accuracy as I had before. So 
something to get used to. Anyway, because of our route, unfortunately, we weren't able to get to the final damage, which kind of sucks because I could have easily put this game over 7k here. And Artie then decides to drown itself, so I didn't get any damage out of the Artie. So it is what it is, but still relatively good game. Yeah, this is the way I play. Erlenburg Southeast. So let's take a look at the end plates here. Yes, we are toxic, completely toxic, especially when it comes to RNG <laughs> and Wargaming not willing to fix it. Anyway, we finished in second spot with 6.4k damage almost. Not much assisted, we're mostly damage dealer in this game. But that's irrelevant, I wanted to show you how I play this map from this spawn. So I hope you guys got the pointers and use them to your advantage. Anyway, that's it for now. Until next time, happy tanking, Space Bandit, checking out. <laughs>